Welcome to the Shapes tutorial. We'll focus on drawing shapes, from basic to complex, that are able to be changed into a myriad of fully editable shape variations you'll find really stunning. For now, some simple building blocks. Rectangle, ellipse and rounded rectangle tools can be found on the tools panel. You'll also find a flyout of familiar shapes from which to select and build from. To create any shape, simply drag across the page. Optionally, press the Shift modifier to constrain a rectangle to a square or an ellipse to a circle. Constraining works for all shapes to maintain their aspect ratio. All shapes, apart from rectangles and ellipses, can be customized directly on the page, allowing for a high degree of control and extensive design possibilities. The simplest customizable shape is the rounded rectangle. It's customizable because of a draggable red handle. Drag one way along the guideline to increase curvature, the other to reduce it. By the way, this principle of dragging red handles holds good for all other shapes, including stars, polygons, and cogs. We'll look at stars first. The context toolbar lets you set the number of points on the star. Once set, the curvature on the left, right, or both sides of the point can be adjusted by dragging the red handle. Press the command modifier for curving both sides. Let's have some fun and take a star tour to show the power of shapes when adjusting these options. Now for some regular polygons. Changing the number of sides gives you everything from triangles to dodecadons and beyond. All polygons can also be given concave or convex edges using a single red handle. Let's look at some interesting polygons you can create. Cogs show off the power of shapes best of all. Here's a default cog shape, but by altering the teeth and various radius and notch settings, you'll get stunning and symmetrical cog designs. While showing stars and polygons, you may have noticed one or more snapping positions, shown as short perpendicular lines along the red guidelines. These positions let you create straight lines between other points on the shape. To edit a shape at any time, select the Node tool from the Tools panel and click the shape. The red handles shown let you modify the shape as before. For design freedom, Select Convert to Curves from the Shapes Context toolbar. Once converted, you'll lose the unique dynamic properties of the chosen shape 
but be able to edit the curves to create asymmetric designs. That's it for this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed watching.